Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1101. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1101 to 1102, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have some dates and time and hours, and we need to calculate the median based on one, two, three criteria. Now, before we look at the criteria, let's look at a few other uh, futile attempts. The built-in median function, well, what does median do? It finds the one that's positionally in the middle. It's as if it sorted the list and took the one in the middle. It's a type of average. Well, if you just use the median, Control Shift, Down Arrow, Control Backspace, and Enter, well, it's going to do all the values. Now, we could do a cheap and easy way, if you didn't want to build a big formula, you're just like, I want to do it quick. Well, look, number one, number two, number three, number four, I'm going to use, I mean, this means I'd have to eye the data set and determine which numbers I want. But check this out. I can use the Control key. And once I'm holding Control, I can drag that range, click here, click here, click here. So using the Control key allows me to enter multiple values. This last one is. Uh, number five, and notice it can be individual cells or ranges, and it'll calculate the correct answer. Now, another cheap and easy way, watch this. I can copy, and if I want to open up the clipboard, I'd go like this. Or if you have options turned on, I'm going to clear this, you can control CC. And the C copies it. The second C opens this up. This up, and watch. I'm going to copy each one of these, and the clipboard is loading it up. Copy, copy, and watch this. This is a great trick for the clipboard. If I click Paste All, because I have a bunch of cells and ranges, it'll just populate this whole column. Paste All, bloop. and so that's a cheap and easy way. Now I'm going to clear the formatting, Home Eraser, clear formatting, or Alt E A F. And now I can simply do the median on the extracted values, extracted a cheap and uh, easy clipboard way. Now, obviously, those aren't the best ways. In 2010, they came up with the aggregate function. The aggregate function's great, it has a bunch of aggregate calculations. And check this out. There is number 12 is median. So before we sell, well, let's try it. Median, that's the function number. The second argument options, we would ignore error values because we'd have to build an array. Uh, calculation in this next argument, but no way. The first 13 functions in aggregate do not allow you to do an array operation. We're actually stuck down here, reference, reference, reference. They're trying to distinguish with the screen tip names. Array means you can do an array operation. Reference means you can only put a range. So let's just go back and look at this. 1 to 13 mode dot single, those are all for just references. 14 to 19 are the only functions in aggregate that can handle array. I'm just going to leave this here as an error in essence. So I'll put 12 in, and I'm stuck only highlighting the whole range. Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace. It'll just give me uh, all the values. It didn't do any array calculation. Now, in, if you didn't have aggregate, I'm going to start off with a function you can use in 2007 or later. And here's our three conditions. We want, we have an, whoops, <laughs> these are reversed. There's the lower date. There's the upper date. And we also need to exclude some dates, like their holidays or something. So we literally need to go through every single record, right? Every single record and look at the date and say, are you greater than or equal to the lower date? And are you less than or equal to the upper date? And are you not one of these? So. We can use the median function in, 2000, in any version, but in 
10 or later, you, we can use the aggregate, and it's probably a little bit easier. And the trick is, for any aggregate function, you can filter values a number of ways. One way is to do the if. So the logical test, we're actually going to make an array operation. So I'm going to click in the top cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace, and I'm going to ask the question, are you greater than or equal to the lower value? Now that logical test there, if we were to evaluate this, gives us a bunch of trues and falses. So now it's all of the values greater than, but we need to continue to add other conditions. So I type a comma, and we still have further conditions. So actually, in the value of true, we add a second if. We say this whole column, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, are you less than or equal to the upper value? comma, we still have one further condition, if. Now we're going to have to get tricky here. I, want to, I don't want to build two ifs and ask, are you not this and are you not this, because especially if we had a bunch of dates. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the match function to look up. Now the lookup value is expecting a single value. And I actually need some trigger that gives me the same size array as this that says I'm not one of these dates. So the lookup value is expecting a single value. I'm going to give it the whole column here. I should have done Control Shift Down Arrow Control Backspace. Lookup value argument. It's expecting a single value. I give it the whole column. That means match is going to spit out a bunch of answers, a function argument array operation. I'm going to ask, are any of you guys within this? Now, the only two possible positions, because there's two values in lookup array, can be 1 or 2, comma, 0, because it's not sorted. Let's just highlight this match and hit F9. And sure enough, the same size array as that column. And look at that. The 1 and the 2 say the date is there. But I'm interested in the NAs, Control Z. So I wrap an is NA around it. I want the in as a in, I want the NAs to be true. So now we're back to the logical test, F9. So there's a bunch of trues and falses. Now notice if, 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 it's only when we get a true here and a true here and a true here that will be allowed to pull the number, right? So when you string ifs together, it's and criteria. All of them have to be true. Now we're finally to the value if true. It's the whole column of numbers. Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace. Now, when you do a long formula like this, we need to just close off all the parentheses. So we close off, close off, close off until we see a black one. When we see a black one, we know we're done. Now the logical test in the if, we did an array operation here. That means some operator, this is a comparative operator. Uh, here it was a function argument array operation. Nevertheless, in the logical test, if you make an array operation, the formula will have to have a special keystroke, Control, Shift, and Enter. So watch this. I'm going to hold Control and Shift and Enter. Boom, that's me telling Excel I'm doing an array calculation. Those curly brackets up in the formula bar are Excel telling you it understood. If you hit Control, Enter, or Enter, you might get an answer because of implicit intersection, because our, our array formula is next to the data set. But notice there's no curly brackets up there. So be sure, verify, Control, Shift, Enter, look up there. Curly brackets, boom, we did it. All right, now. In 2010, we can use aggregate and not have to worry about Control Shift Enter. Now we're going to use the same logical test. Now watch this. I'm going to use the uh, clipboard a second time, Control CC. Actually, I'm going to clear it and Control C because that logical test is one of the ones I need. I'm highlighting not the parentheses, just the actual. Actually, I can go like that. Control C. And then over here, Logical test, Control C. So I've loaded the three tests up here. Escape, that retains the curly brackets up there. And now let's do aggregate. Now, wait a second. I thought median is not allowed. Well, it's not. But median is the one in the middle. And look at this, percentile, quartile. There's actually percentile inclusive, which includes 0 and 1, exclusive, which excludes 0 and 1, and then quartile 
uh, inclusive and exclusive, any one of these can handle a median calculation because the median is the one in the middle. I'm actually, and it doesn't matter which one. In our case, because we're not, we're doing the one in the middle, it doesn't matter which function we use. They'll all give us the same uh, example. Now I have a reference video below here, a link that shows you the difference between these if you're interested. I'm going to choose just the first one, quartile. Now quartile will divide the data set into four parts with three markers, two being the one in the middle. Now we're going to build an array calculation and we're going to use division. We're going to use division instead of multiplication just in case there were zeros here that were part of the calculation. So division will give us a divide by zero arrow which will be our filter instead of as we saw with our if we saw true and false was the filter. And let's do number six, ignore errors, comma. And now we get to array. Now we're ultimately interested in these numbers. So I'm going to highlight the numbers first with aggregate. Remember with if we did it last. And then we're going to divide. Now open parentheses, open parentheses. We'll do our first test, close parentheses, times, open parentheses, our second test, close parentheses, times, we don't need parentheses here because they're enclosed inside the is and a. We still need to get that orange parentheses, so I close parentheses. Now, all this multiplication will give us trues and falses. In fact, if we were to highlight all of this, F9 to evaluate, only the ones mean true. That's where we got true, true, true. The zeros, well, the division will cause a divide by zero error. The six will avoid that. Just skip right over it. Actually, let's look. F9, the filter here is divide by zero error, right? Control Z. Now we come to the N, and for K, we chose quartile, so I want the second. If we were doing um, percentile ink or exclusive, that would be 16 or 18 here. We do 0.5. But I like 2 because I just have to type a 2. Close parentheses. Watch this. No Control Shift Enter. Now I'm going to do Control Enter so I keep the cell highlighted and I can immediately look up here. Got the right answer. That aggregate can handle that array calculation without Control Shift Enter. If we scroll down here, there's the other functions you could use in here. There's a reference video if you want to look at how the, these different calculations are different. And there is a, a massive playlist with all sorts of uses for aggregate, since aggregate is such a, an amazing function. Now, uh, now I'll quickly just show you with, we could do 19, which is that, uh, which is quartile. We could do 16 here, and then we'd have to change it to 0.5. And we could do it as 18, but that would be percentile. So this would have to be 0.5. Now, in our example, we had one, two, three criteria. But what if we had a fourth criteria? So we have to have an upper and a lower date, exclude these holidays. And guess what? We don't want to include anything on Saturday or Sunday, so a weekend. I'm actually going to copy this sheet over. All right, so I did a little trickery. When you download this sheet, this sheet will be there. Hey, let's just take the same formula here, we just have one other condition. Well, we can add as many conditions as we want. We could be using the median and if, but I'm going to use the aggregate. We need to look through here and isolate. So we can use the weekday function. And it doesn't matter when you're multiplying. This is called Boolean logic here. It doesn't matter where we put it. I'm going to start at the beginning and put a parenthesis. And we're going to use the weekday function. Now, the weekday function will highlight, well, the weekday expects a serial number, so we'll do another function argument array operation. Remember, we're putting a, a whole column worth of dates in there, so the weekday will now spit out a whole bunch of trues and falses when we're done. Comma and the, retur the return type, we want numbers 1 through 7. So Monday will be 1, Saturday will be 6, and Sunday will be 7. Right now, if we were to highlight just the weekday part, F9, we can see we get all those numbers. And we want everything less than 6. So we're going to say less than 6. Close parentheses. I have to come to the beginning and put an open parentheses. And I better, uh-oh, looks like 
And I forgot the parentheses here, so multiplying and close parentheses. Now, as I'm looking through, okay, that's looking good. That one, that one is number. And we could even uh, click the whole array, F9. So there we go. The divide by ones are filtering. We have our 1.4, our 0.7, Control Z, Control Enter, and we get a different answer. Now, I've actually done some conditional formatting. I wasn't going to do that in this video. Highlight the active cell, Alt O D. Double click it to edit it. Ooh, it's not going to let me see. This is just flat out too big, but I'm going to have to add another condition up here to the and. I'm simply going to say week day of this, and I'm going to lock it F4 one so the column is locked. The weekday comma 2 close parentheses is less than 6 comma. You know, you, if you've watched my videos, I hardly ever edit a formula here. I, I do it in the spreadsheet, make sure it's working. So I got my fingers crossed. Click OK. Click OK. And sh hopefully it's working. So now we got one. Two, three, four are going to be 0.7 and 0.65. And when there's an even number, it takes those two in the middle and does an average on those two and gets 0.65. All right, that was a lot of fun with median calculation. Here we did one, two, three, four with the extra weekday criteria had four criteria or four conditions. Back over on this sheet, we had three. We saw how to do it with median if, 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 or aggregate. All right, we'll see you next trick.